A couple months ago, you asked me to write you a letter. This is it, I guess. Oh my gosh, Mira, we got into the challenge. <gasps> April 27th, studio. The guy that punched Sal. So you work at this all the time? Yeah. Well, no wonder it's clean, but all your clothes are gone. Hi, Marcus. Miranda, thank you for bringing me to Marcus today. You did a good job. Uh, don't bother coming back. He's gonna be here for a while. Come on, Marcus. Give him a chair. You're hot, and you just got bullied. Besties! We should work at a sandwich shop. I, I agree. agree. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty rose. Thanks. I think Colin gave it to me. Well, it's more likely your dad gave it to you because I don't think the doorman would let Colin in. Well, I guess, but I really hope it's from Colin. I didn't want it to be from him because I wanted Colin all to myself. Long dead, so hard bread, bad teeth, burn score? Uh, I don't know the burn score. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> it was Julia who gave the rose to Anne Marie. She's not a jerk. Well, not a complete jerk. It all makes sense. Marcus in the future is the laughing man, and he was practicing to kick Sal out of the car's path. That's why he said he was going to save Sal and himself. Oh my gosh, I'm going to law school! Yay! That's pretty much the end of the story. After Mom won the $12,000, she used that money so that she could go to law school. There was one thing I was confused about. I wondered why you always had your head under the mailbox. So I went to investigate. I put my hand under there like I used to see you do. And staring right back at me was Julia's photo. Oh, you love her. She must be gone now. I know you two lived a long and happy life together though, and that lessened the blow. Anyway, I plan on handing this note to you with little explanation so as not to ruin the future. Safe tra travels, Miranda.